Hello, my name is Felipe Hernandez from Tecnológico de Monterrey in Mexico. My project is called Augmented Reality for Self-Management of Learning in Manufacturing Laboratories, or briefly described as AR Manufacturing Lab. Currently, the use of mobile devices has become a necessity for the social life of our students. So, we seek to integrate technology into their learning daily. Engineering students especially need to use mobile applications and specialized software for their study subjects, which is why they are widely associated with technological trends in this field. Manufacturing laboratories use highly specialized machinery, which must be operated with caution and specific. As a description of the project, we will answer three important questions. What, what for, and how? What? Focus on the application of AR tools to promote self-management of learning. I am to the use of specialized manufacturing machinery as CNCs, industrial robots, etc. What for? To reduce the learning deficit of students who need different rhythms of work. How? Design of virtual training content for the use of the machinery, which the learner can use at any time to give flexibility in the way of learning, providing students with the necessary virtual tours so that they can learn at their own pace. Traditionally, the intervention of an instructor is needed to act as a guide for the training of students in the use of this machinery. With this proposal, it is so that the students themselves use their mobile devices to receive the instruction of each machine. So, an important question is, how will the use of augmented reality reinforce the self-management of learning in the manufacturing laboratory? The augmented reality content is developed by the more advanced students in specific topics under the teacher's supervision to help the students who are lagging behind. The type of student that we develop is concurrent data collected simultaneously with qualitative plus quantitative data or quantitative plus qualitative data. We perform surveys related to the degree of satisfaction with the use of the tool in two areas, the use of the tool and the creation of contents. The implementation of the project is in the integrated manufacturing system Soviet for industrial and system engineers and mechatronic engineers of seventh semester of the career. The content was divided into five learning models, industrial robots, PLC, CNC milling machine and CNC light, visual inspection systems and manufacturing system integration. The image shows the areas of application of the mentioned models. This is an example of how augmented reality is displayed on the laboratory machine. In this case, on a light where the configuration tools are displayed and the main elements are described, as well as instructional videos in the augmented reality capacity. Here are some students using the application to use the different devices in the manufacturing lab. Two types of surveys were conducted, one for the implementation and one other for the content development and creation. In these first questions, students were asked how much they liked the traditional model or the use of augmented reality, in addition to main questions about how much they learned. There were also questions about the ease of, the, of use and how motivated they were to use it. The results were very good. In terms of content creation, they were asked about the simplicity of the development environment and how it could impact their learning in their professional life. As an appropriate phrase, we can mention, teaching is the best way to learn. We can see how our students appreciate the fact that they can generate content to learn in a better way. Some advantages derived from the application of the strategy are the creation of multimedia resources, as the self-management of knowledge 
training in the use of equipment, good acceptance of the platform, and the easy use of the mobile devices. So a major area of opportunity was the use of the free platforms versus more robust development platforms as Unity. The conclusions, the use of augmented reality tools in the training of the use of the specialized machinery makes the student responsible for his own learning with the help of the multimedia resources indicated. This initiative can be taken directly to the operator training in industry. Some future considerations to engage this project could be the adaptive learning approach, diagnostic assessment, content focus on the development of each students, and monitoring of the achievement of competencies. We have some acknowledgements today, Novus Grant of Tecnologico de Monterrey and Gradient Lab. Thanks for your attentions.